Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm so sad right now. As you guys know, I love me some Britney Spears. We haven't had any Britney Spears tea in a while. But right now, Britney is going through it. Shout out to JT of uh, VH1 Access and Reality TV. He slid in my DMs. A lot of y'all have been hitting me up. Like, T, you got to talk about this whole thing concerning Britney Spears, the whole free Britney Spears hashtag. So right now, what's going on with Britney is that she's definitely going through it. So now, if you guys don't remember, I reported on Instagram that Britney was going to check herself back into um, a mental facility. They were stating that she was having a lot of issues because her father, Jamie Spears, had been diagnosed with cancer. And, you know, it was taking a toll on the family, but especially on her. So she allegedly checked herself in. But before then, it had been announced that Britney was going to be having a residency in Vegas. So people were really excited. All her fans were really excited to go see her. And then it was announced that the residency had been canceled due to her having another mental breakdown, okay? I just want to be a happy person. That's really important just to spread joy, you know, and be a happy person. Britney Spears is getting back on track. The singer has checked into a mental health facility where she will be living for 30 days. The move came as a direct result of her father, Jamie Spears's worsening condition. An insider tells us that she couldn't emotionally handle the thought of potentially losing him. It was her breaking point. Now the center prioritizes physical, mental, and spiritual well-being, which will be beneficial to Britney since a source tells us that she wanted to find a way to take care of herself and get out of the dark place that she has been in. I'm okay, I think everything happens for a reason. And Brittany has nothing but support from her family and her boyfriend, Sam Misgari. A source tells us that he's so proud of her for wanting to better herself. Sam and her two sons will be able to visit her, the source adding that they want to see her back to her old self, being the happy-go-lucky girl they know and love. I'm a performer, so I know how to mentally adjust my head to go there. As for her dad, well, he is still on the mend. In November 2018, he underwent surgery after his colon spontaneously ruptured. Britney's sister, Jamie Lynn Spears, has been by her father's side, with a source telling us that she's been taking care of Jamie and that he is doing much better. Jamie's illness caused Britney to announce an indefinite hiatus and put her Las Vegas residency on hold. So then Radar Online had um, talked about it and they were basically saying that even though Britney Spears was really anxious to get out and start touring again and start the residency, they were saying that doctors suggested that she stay in the um, facility that she wasn't ready yet to come out. Well, what happened is that there's a podcast that's dedicated to everything Britney Spears. There's the girl who runs it is Britney Graham. And basically, she's saying that they have received a voicemail from a paralegal attorney who had worked on Britney's um, conservative. So now let me go ahead and bring y'all back. If you guys remember back in 2008 when Britney Spears went crazy, um, she was going through a lot. She had just had, you know, two babies back to back. She was stressed. Basically, Britney Spears shaved off her whole head. OK, she was caught on video shaving off her hair. She was running around with that damn umbrella, trying to beat people's asses with that umbrella. She was hitting on cars. She was going through so much back then that they ended up, you know, basically committing her to a mental institution, to a mental hospital. And at that point, her father um, gained custody to get um, conservatorship of Britney Spears. OK, so this person that um, left the voicemail to the podcast, he was a part of that conservatorship. He no longer works with Britney, but he had basically left this voicemail and it was very very chilling and a lot of people are really really worried about everything that this man had to say he called in anonymous he basically says that Brittany has been living in a mental facility since january he's saying that they changed her meds and this was involuntary and basically she does not want to take these new meds so basically what they're saying is that Brittany felt like she no longer needs to be on her medications she wants to just kind of just live her life medication free once her father found out about this, he was upset and he took her to a doctor who prescribed her with the new medication. Brittany refused to take that new medication. So at that point, in order to get her to comply, her father, Jamie Spears, threatened to cancel her domination residency in Vegas. And, you know, she still didn't take the medicine. So he ended up canceling it. And then he used his own illness as an excuse and had her committed, saying that she was basically stressed out and worried about, you know, him getting cancer. 
Then it also came out that Britney Spears' team members, specifically Lou, Larry, and Adam, they're hell-bent on keeping Britney medicated under this conservatorship because it secures their own finances. So basically, for the people who are supposed to be looking out for Britney Spears, they're basically lining their pockets. So this man was spilling all types of tea, honey. You know what? I was here for every last drop, bitch, okay? Y'all go ahead and check out what he had to say. Check this out, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. We're going through our voicemails, and uh, we got this voicemail, and I feel like... We should just play it, and then we'll discuss. Yeah, here we go. Hi there. Um, I cannot disclose who I am. Um, I just heard the latest episode. You guys are on to something. Um, I used to be a paralegal for an attorney that worked um, with Britney's conservatorship. I am no longer with them. Um, And what is happening is disturbing, to say the least. So... um, Basically, in rehe- Brittany was in rehearsals for Domination. Uh, it came to Jamie's attention, Jamie Spears, that uh, Brittany was not taking her medication as prescribed. Uh, she was she was missing a lot of doses and just uh, full on not taking them. So uh, they got her to the doctor. The doctor said, okay, if you don't want these medications, let's get you on a new one. Well, she refused to take the new one. So Jamie said, either you take this medication or the show's off and I'm, I'm, I'm pulling my support and you can't do it. Um, Brittany did not follow Jamie's instructions. And so he was true to his word. He pulled the show. He verbatim said, blame it on my illness um and that's when we get the early january instagram fast forward a couple days um britney's still not following through with her medication and as you guys have mentioned she is seen with sam driving a dig no no on um uh, it's, it's a big rule that she broke. Brittany has been in the um, in the mental facility since mid January. Um, of course, the, the the statement yesterday said she entered last week. That is not true. She's been in there since mid January, um, and there is no timeline. Uh, Granted, I've been gone. I, I haven't worked at the company or at the at the firm for uh, about a little over two weeks now. But there is no end, particularly in sight, for this stay at this mental facility to um, to end. Uh, she did not want to go. She, um, I, I, I of course. Uh, I'm just a paralegal. I haven't had any contact with her, but um, from what I understand, this was uh, not a decision she made at all. And that's where it cuts off. Oh, my God. I mean, chilling. Yeah. All right, so you guys just heard what he had to say on that podcast. Now, another thing that's really been troubling people is that right now her siblings have basically given up the fight. But Jamie Lynn did post something on social media yesterday. And basically, Jamie Lynn says, they don't deserve you, stay busy. And then the mother, Lynn, was caught going around basically liking comments of people doing the Free Britney hashtag. So not only has Lynn been liking comments of people talking about how Britney's conservatorship is holding her against her will, um, she then took to Instagram and she posted, when God's warriors go down on their knees, the battle is not over, it's just begun. So obviously her mother is very worried for her as well. So it's a lot of stuff that's going on with this situation. Um, What I'm also being told by some Britney fans is that once they took to her social media page and they started writing hashtag free Britney, whoever is running her social media page is now deleting those comments. They've also blocked that hashtag. So if you go on there, you try to write free Britney, supposedly it's not showing up on her Instagram anymore. Now, another former manager of Britney, um, Adam LeBeer, 
he took to social media because people started confronting him. And so this is what he said. He says, I heard about the podcast. I haven't listened, but I haven't worked with Britney in two plus years. I'm not involved with her affairs. I wish her nothing but love. So that's what he had to say about the situation. So, you know, this is getting really, really sad and creepy. Hopefully, Britney Spears is okay. Um, hopefully, they'll let her out soon. But for y'all who don't know, she has been under this conservatorship for over 11 years. They're saying that under that conservatorship, she can't drive. She can't go out with friends. She can't go out without getting permission. She can't go out alone. She can't decide to buy anything without permission. She also can't say what she wants to in interviews. You know, and this is a woman who's a mother of two who also doesn't have custody of her two children. I believe Kevin Federline has full custody and then Britney Spears sees them um, and she tries to see them as much as she can but there's definitely something going on with her and I feel really bad for her you know she's one of those Disney kids so there might be some MK Ultra involved if you guys don't know what that is y'all go ahead and google it um, you know, this is a child who's been in the entertainment business. Long before she blew up in 1999, Britney has been doing commercials and singing and dancing literally since she was four. You know, they literally sacrificed her childhood to make a buck. And it's really sad that now at the age of 37, she's going through all this. She can't even enjoy all of the fruits of her labor. And I feel really bad for her. So I know you guys want me to come with like just something solid or something to leave you guys with. At the end of the day, I don't know how to bring that to y'all. All I'm bringing you guys all I'm doing is a simple breakdown of what went down with this whole Free Britney hashtag. You know, could the man who called in have just been looking for attention? Because again, we live in a day and age where people love attention. And if they can get a story to go viral just because, they'll do that. And you know, you have to think to yourself, if he really did work for Britney, if he really is a lawyer or worked on a conservatorship, I'm sure somebody can recognize his voice. Is he willing to put his career and reputation on the line just for a podcast? I don't know. But then again, he could be somebody who has nothing to lose and he wants the best for Britney. Either way, this entire situation concerning Britney Spears, it's definitely conspiracy worthy. But, you know, I don't know how much is fact, how much is fiction. But I do feel like it is sad that after all these years, she's still under a conservatorship. But let's not forget that Britney Spears definitely suffers from some mental issues. She had mental breakdowns. And, you know, when you're going through that cult of Disney, when you're going through that Disney boot camp, her, Justin Timberlake, Christina Aguilera, it was a whole host of kids kids that went through that whole Disney boot camp a lot of those kids you know now that they're adults they have issues you know a lot of kids who get into the entertainment industry very very young they end up having issues either mental breakdowns you know what I'm saying molestation issues abuse issues in the industry we see what happened with Amanda Bynes so again like I said I don't know if all this is 100% factual you know most of this is alleged so I'm not going to act like you know these are just full receipts all I'm doing is putting the information out there the only thing that I personally can do for Britney is just keep her in prayer I really hope that everything works out for her and I hope that she eventually gets out of that mental facility and she's able to do what she loves but I do feel like you know somebody's going to have to look over Britney Spears because she does have a lot of issues you know there's a lot of things that she's dealing with behind the scenes maybe it's her mother's turn to step up and you know be her conservator or look out for her or things like that but I also do feel like a, there's a lot of hands in the pot and unfortunately you're dealing with a celebrity you're dealing with money that brings the ugliness out of people. You'll have people trying to take advantage. This woman has been on a conservatorship for 11 years. And I do feel like they try and push that mental health issue and her mental breakdowns to keep her in that conservatorship. So that way they can still have control for money. Because again, a lot of these celebrities are just a check to these people. And let's be very honest. Most of these celebrities make more of their money when they're dead than even when they're alive. I mean, look at the whole Nipsey Hussle situation. Look at Michael Jackson, Prince. You know, so I just want Britney need to be okay but I just think it's really sad you know everything that's been going on in her life over the past decade you know but um at the end of the day I don't have a solid answer for this all we're gonna have to do is just sit back sip and watch how everything plays out you know hopefully she'll be able to get out soon and do what she loves in the meantime I'm giving this whole situation and everybody involved the damn side eye because my damn tin hat is damn tingling okay so anyways y'all let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation concerning the Hashtag free Britney Spears.